Hi friends, Denise from Salvaged Inspirations and thanks so much for joining me. Today I have a really fun sunflower transfer dresser makeover. This old vintage dresser gets a sunny makeover using a custom color and bells and whistles sunflower transfer. I can't wait to share it with you. So just let me get set up and I'll be right back. Let's start. Here's the fun part. So last year I had an eight foot blooming sunflower plant in my garden and I also visited an eight acre sunflower maze. So I thought that that was my creative muse trying to tell me something so I busted out my transfer stash and got busy. I took all this video footage to do a YouTube video and then for some reason I did not. So I found all this footage and thought it would be great to get it up for you. For the prep, I removed the mirror that was original to the dresser, and I also removed the original hardware. And then I gave this vintage dresser a really good cleaning with white lightning, and that was followed by a good scuff sanding with my Orbital DeWalt sander and a 120 grit sandpaper. On the top drawer of this vintage dresser, there was a dated design on it. And to fill that in, I mixed up some Bondo and I'll actually include a card up above to share my Bondo video with you. And I just filled in the design with Bondo. Uh, it dries very, very quickly. So within 10, 15 minutes, I was able to sand it down and also fill in all the hardware holes with the Bondo as well. Now for some design fun. To tie in my sunflower theme, I used this Would You Bend flower and I placed this right in the very middle of the top drawer. And Would You Bend is super easy to apply. You just heat it up and it does make the wood flexible. It actually can bend. Uh, and you add glue to the back and place it where you want on your piece. Uh, again, I have a full tutorial on how to apply Would You Bend and I'll link to that also. Now that I had my top drawer decked out with a whole new design, I went ahead and primed the whole dresser with Bin Shellac Primer. I love this stuff. Um, again, I have a whole tutorial on how to apply Bin and I use it when bleed through is an issue. Any sort of stains or odors, this primer will kill it dead. So uh, I went ahead and primed the drawers. I primed the body and this is what it looks like all primed down with a light scuff sand. I do like sanding in between each coat and that's just to knock down anything and make it super, super smooth. Now it's ready for paint. To get a custom sunflower paint color, I used a half and half mix of Colonel Mustard and this Rebel Yellow by Dixie Belle. Uh, gorgeous, and it was, it turned out to be the exact shade that I was after. And just a little pro tip to add here, don't be afraid to mix your paints. Uh, if you're just starting out and mixing colors feels a little intimidating, Buy two or three colors that you absolutely love and then make sure that you have a staple white and a staple black. This way you can lighten and darken your colors you have on hand and it will give you so many variations for a fraction of the cost. Before I started painting, I used a tack cloth to dust off or to wipe off all the dust on this dresser and then I started painting my dresser with the custom yellow. Um, this took two coats and the top was actually painted in the custom yellow and the bottom was painted in cotton white by Dixie Bell. I used the slap it on technique for the for the legs. 
um, and I'll include the card up above so you can go check out that video as well. This leaves the legs with no brush marks whatsoever. It, it looks like a funny technique, but you actually end up with no brush marks and it's a really, really quick way to paint any sort of spindles, legs, etc. And then what I did was I blended the cotton white into my custom yellow and that was about halfway down on the second drawer so the middle drawer of this dresser and the blending technique I just used the wet blending technique so I blended the wet white into the yellow and then I used a separate brush to blend them together as you can see here once my paint was all dry, it was time to add on these fun transfers. And applying these transfers is very easy. Uh, after I picked which part of the sunflower design I wanted to use, I peeled off the backing and placed it on the dresser. And then using the wooden rub-on tool, I just rubbed the clear transfer sheet until the design was adhered. I think this looks so cute. Don't laugh at me, but it reminds me of a little girl's dress. I think it's just adorable. To finish this piece off and tie everything together, I added these cup handles and I also shaded the Would You Bend flower with Dixie Belle's brown wax. This really gave it some dimension. To provide protection for the entire piece, I sprayed two coats of Dixie Belle's clear satin top coat. Uh, this gives it a great protection. It makes it easy to clean. Uh, it's a satin sheen, so it's not too glossy and it's not too matte. Uh, for me, I use it on the majority of my pieces. And here's how it all came together. Here is the before and here is the after. I can't wait to hear what you guys think. I think it's just turned out adorable. I hope you found this video tutorial helpful. If so, consider subscribing down below. I also love hearing from you guys. So if you have any tips, tricks, suggestions, or you just wanna drop by to say hi, uh, I'd love to hear from you down below. Also, I would love to see you over at salvagedinspirations.com where I have over 400 furniture painting tutorials teaching you how to make your furniture beautiful. Until next time, stay safe, have a super day, and see you again soon. Bye guys.